Hello. Hey, Earth Signs. How are you guys? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is a different kind of a spread. We're doing something called what's really going on here. I'm feeling a lot of people are really up in their head right now about things. Uh, we are in the, in, um, today is May 4th. This is for reading for, that's going to be posted for May 5th and 6th, although it doesn't need to happen on those dates. A lot of times they're bigger readings than that. We have the new moon in Taurus right now manifesting and it is about luxury and groundedness and going for it and just being in that space of luxuriousness. And a lot of the readings that I have done today are about being up in your head, the opposite of that energy. So I feel like what needs what's needed now is to really get grounded and really to see things clearly. Okay. So, um, Seven of Wands reverse there. All right, let's see what's going on here. Not resisting, not resisting. Not seeing, you know, there's one side of this that is like, oh, you're seeing it through rose colored glasses. But the other side of it is seeing, seeing through glasses of fear. That's the opposite of rose colored glasses that you're everything you're, you see a boogeyman around every single tree, right? And, um, you know, just when, when things, don't move the way you think they should or the way you expect. You're like, oh my God, what's going on, right? So the advice has been a lot about really going, getting grounded and just, you know, don't look through your own lens of fear. Try not to look through your own, own lens of fear, okay? So earth sign, what is going on here? Four of swords, healing energy, I like that. Person one, knight of wands, person two, five of wands, how you're seeing it, how they're seeing it. Devil energy. Wow, Capricorn. King of Pentacles, there's you. Six of Swords. Hanged man. Three of Swords. So this could be an existing relationship that is need in need of healing. A karmic relationship, earth sign. Okay. Um, you're dealing with someone, um, they're, oh, a third party. Okay. Third party lovers, 10 of cups. Uh, this is a situation where this person, you're, um, this is not the third party. This person is somebody who just wants the truth. Ace of swords. They just want the truth. I feel like you, Knight of Wands, could be looking in another direction, right, toward a new love, Ace of Cups here. It, uh, this is Four of Cups, but see, they're, you're meditating on that Ace of Cups there. This person could also be an Earth sign, or you guys could be in this same place of being very grounded and healed or healing. Um, you have another person, or they have another person, Three of Cups, Lovers, Ten of Cups. So you both could be in a situation where you're waiting for the other person to do something about it. All right. And you are looking in a different direction. They are looking off in this direction. Five of Wands. They're Five of Wands. So they are like all over the place. They just don't know what to do. All right. Because you're not looking in their direction anymore. They feel it. They feel you're not connected to them anymore. Three of Swords underneath. I think they know it's coming. They know that you might be dealing with a third party. They're thinking about leaving. This is what they're thinking about. Six of Swords. What's really going on? Ace of Swords. I feel like they just want the truth. Okay. And the truth is there's a third party that you are in love with or they have a third party that they're in love with and they just want to tell the truth about this. Okay. Ten of Cups. This could be a... Um, this could be somebody who is a uh, twin flame kind of a person. Oh, okay. That's way too much. <laughs> That's way too much. Um, I was going to ask about this King of Pentacles here. What is that? King of Pentacles. You feel like you're stuck here. Seven of Swords. Strength. Four of Wands. I feel like you're lying. You could be lying to yourself Seven of Swords with the King of Pentacles here. You could be lying to yourself or to them. They could be Leo energy about having relationship or wanting to be in relationship. Or you feel, you're feel you feeling like you're lying about this relationship. 
There's lies here. There's deceit. Yeah, there's lies and deceit here. So there's lies and deceit here. Um, I feel like you want to move toward a fire sign. What's the hanged man? Oh, chariot energy. I feel like you will. Chariot, this is the one that sported out. You're wanting to move on. You're wanting to move forward. What about this five of wands person, three of swords? Eight of swords, judgment, five of cups. They know. Eight of pentacles, hermit. They think you're, um, they think you're focused on your work, but they know the truth. I feel like they know the truth. Okay. That the devil energy, they know that you want to move on. King of swords. They do. They do. They know that you want to move on and make plans for the future. This person is feeling, um, upset and they feel stuck in some way. Eight of Swords here. Judgment. This is a past life karmic soulmate energy that needs to be... Um, the lesson needs to be learned. What is the lesson here that needs to be learned? Eight of Wands in reverse. Pin, uh, page of Swords. Five of Swords. One more. Knight of Cups. Uh, there was no romance in this. You might want romance. I feel like you do want romance. You want sex, romance, fun, joy. This is all swords energy here. This is very um, up in their head. There is some regrets about this. Didn't work hard enough on this. Uh, they feel like you went into yourself. Knight of Cups here. There was no romance. No communication. Eight of Wands in reverse. There was no communication here. None. So you, I feel like you have places to go. I feel like you are going toward a Gemini, a Cancer, a, a Leo energy. Um, could be another Earth sign. Could be a King of Pentacles, an Earth sign. And this is a healing person for you, okay? You're really wanting to move forward. And this person is like, I just want the truth, but I don't want the truth to be that you're moving forward. So that's kind of putting you in a position of hanged man. You want to tell them the truth, but they don't really want the truth. Okay. So let's uh, do an extended read. I'll use a different deck here, Finestra deck, and um, we'll see where we go. We're going to get some advice and some, um, uh, let's see here. What did I say? Advice and some blocks and messages to you from this other person. Okay. All right. Link is below. I'll see you on the other side.